Are you ready for number four? <laughs> All right, so let's go. You need encouragement slash motivation to start anything. But it takes discipline and endurance to be consistent. You need encouragement slash motivation to start anything. When you're about starting anything, what you need is encouragement and motivation. But it will take discipline and endurance to be consistent in life. The secret to starting is motivating, motivation. But the secret to remaining and to be consistent is discipline and endurance. Discipline and endurance. You need encouragement and motivation to start anything. A business, a ministry, a home. You just need encouragement. But everyone who has stayed in any field of success will tell you that you get to a point where you need beyond motivation. It will take discipline and it will take endurance. And talking about discipline, there are two dimensions to discipline. Number one, there is the staying power. It's called discipline. Number two, there is the ability, the power of restraint. You need both. You are not disciplined if you do not have, number one, the staying power. The ability to continue even if alone and then number two the ability to say no to many good things you need encouragement and motivation to start anything in life but it will take discipline and endurance Believers, please listen to me. This is a very profound point. Most people think that those who today we call overcomers, champions in the spirit and in destiny, that it was motivation that took them all through. I, I disagree totally. Go and ask any champion in any field. There are times that the kind of challenges you have before you, motivation will not solve it. You need the staying power to continue even if you do not know the name of what you are doing. Motivate me to get to Lagos. You can encourage me when I start. Say by road. By the time I am seven hours, don't motivate me. You are wasting your time. Pray for me for the staying power to remain in that car till I arrive. Are we together? We have a world that is so in need of motivation. And motivation is important. Don't get me wrong. It helps to prime you to start. But there are times you will need to stay alone and say, though he slay me, I will still trust him. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. Many people lack the staying power. It says, and so... After he, the he being Abraham, had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Abraham did not just obtain the promise because God said he would. It took patience, it took endurance. Can I tell you the truth? For some of you, by reason of what I'm saying, God is telling you, go back to what you were doing. It is still my will. Stay there. It will not magically, you know, we have this idea that because you are in the will of God, the results will happen overnight. No, sir. There are times you will cry. You are still in the will of God. There are times it will not make sense. You are still in the will of God. This stubborn child, was it a cost to get you? He's still a pastor. Train him. Endure. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> A gentleman heard that I prayed for 72 hours and you know these guys who get motivated and that's wonderful it's good to inspire people the guy now sent a text that he was going to you know go past he said he sees to challenge himself <laughs> that you go past you know 72 hours and of course uh, there are many ways to learn many ways to learn are we together <laughs> you know when you hear it you think it's just easy what is there I assure you by experience by the time you pass four or five hours there has to be a grace that carries you through there is absolutely nothing that will motivate you about that experience again if you don't know this you are not a person of prayer even if the Holy Ghost is shaking all the chairs in your room 
I assure you, it is discipline that will drive you through. Are we together? Say discipline. Yes, sir. The staying power. For somebody, you are about to veer off the path of destiny. Whereas the path you have taken is the right path. You just need to remain. If you're traveling again in my example from Abuja to Lagos, even if by air, it will be unwise after 15 minutes to start shouting at the crew members or the pilot to say, I thought that this flight is supposed to be a fast one. No, you will have to endure. How do you endure? Sometimes you do nothing. Just sit down till you arrive. Just sit down. There are times you have to drive if you're the one driving or fly if you're the one, the pilot in charge. But there are times that you do not need to do anything. It's called the staying power. The ability to remain until the law of process runs its course in your life. Those who are good in the kitchen, you know this. There are times you mix everything. There's nothing else to do. Just close the pot and wait. Have you tried to taste food when it's on fire? You just want to pick the piece of meat by force. You know what it does to you? Because of impatience, you will burn your tongue and get, you may even, out of shock, you may push the whole food down. That's what happens to people. Impatience has cheated many people from actualizing their destiny. Just wait 30 more minutes. The food is yours. <laughs> Are we together? You can roam around the kitchen, but wait. You can be hungry, but wait. Watch videos of food, but wait. Once the meal is ready, they now serve it beautifully, and you can sit down and take your time to enjoy your meal. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to wait. I receive grace to stay. I receive grace to stand. I receive grace to be disciplined. Do you know that one million is one plus one plus one plus one plus one million? There are many people who want to save and their target is two million naira. When they get to 700,000, they get angry one day and say, look, it's only when I'm alive I'll get to two million. And they convince themselves of all kinds of things. And usually they keep the money where they will not even see it. So they just reach their hands and pull out whatever is there. One day you place your hand and not find anything there. And you say, who stole? No, it was carelessness and indiscipline that finished that money. Just because you do not know what you did with it does not mean you did not use it. And for people, they will say their money is disappearing. Now, there are real cases like that. But in most cases, it's a lie. It's just the carelessness of the individual. You need encouragement and motivation to start. But it will take discipline. It will take endurance. It will take endurance. Listen, I wrote here, you must learn to say no to many good things if you desire greatness. We have been taught that you only say no to evil things. No. There are many good things in your life you must sustain the courage to say no to. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. Remolding everything in obedience to Christ. That's what he's doing. Rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Have you seen someone running a race? A real race, say a finals. Some marathon and then while they are on, say maybe they just have two or three more turns and they are done. And someone just dangles some ice cream and says, listen, remember you like ice cream. Is ice cream wrong? No, but with respect to what you are doing, it is a distraction. Can I tell you, if the devil uses evil things to get you and you resist it, he will use good things. The most important thing is that you go down, whether by good or evil. There is a tree called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Both good and evil are connected to that tree and it has one assignment to destroy you. There are many things in your life. It's not just about good or bad. It's about wise and unwise. 
There are many things that may be good, but may not be wisdom for you with respect to the making that is happening to you. Is someone learning? In obedience to Christ. Stay in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Bring in my life. In obedience to Christ. So you must learn from an overcomer that the great are people who master the art of staying even if in their tears when a woman announces that she's pregnant usually people celebrate her and say wow especially if she's trusted God for a while people can say this is beautiful we're happy to know this five months six months and you find out that no matter what you say it doesn't bring that laughter it brought at month one and two again because at that point, what she needs is not motivation. The staying power. She will complain, but the baby is still there. She will argue, I her husband, but he's still there. Until she finally gives birth. And everybody comes to rejoice. And sometimes she can even say, this is the last time. And then, see that now. Is someone learning? Getting angry that there is nobody encouraging me is a joke. They encourage you when they were launching and cutting the scissors of that pharmacy. Now that no one is buying the drugs, now that people are not coming, you do not need motivation. You need encouragement by the Spirit. And sometimes it does not come just by saying go forward. It is discipline. Remain. Remain. Don't give up. Remain. This one is beyond motivation. It's beyond positive speaking. You just need to stay until it happens. I'm praying for someone who is weary and weak in ministry, in life, and in destiny. As a parent, as a student, it looks like you have stretched yourself and you have gotten to your wit's end. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, the staying power, that engracing that causes men to remain until they manifest, may it rest upon you now. May it rest upon you now. May it rest upon you now. Please sit down. Are you ready for number six? The sixth lesson.